Hello everybody, and if you're new to my channel, I'm Sonia, Nan with the Backpack. In this video, I am going to head back from Baton Bowl to CM Reap and go apartment hunting randomly because I went to go and just asked a few questions and before I knew it, I was viewing properties. So sit back and enjoy. Ordered a tuk-tuk and I'm now headed to the bus station to pick up my bus to head back to CM Reap. There was just a little bit of rain last night. What happens when your tuk-tuk driver drops you off on the other side of the road to where your bus is leaving? They say every photograph tells a story. I've had better starts to my day. And to be fair, I didn't even realise it had rained last night. I really loved my time in Baton Bang. The little village, the little dirt roads, the people were so kind and friendly. Yeah, I think I would really like to go back and visit again at another day. I think that might be my bus. Yes, I was right. And I've got a really good seat right at the front as well. So I've just arrived at the oh. capital bus station and it's the new one and it's really big. Gosh, it's going to be really nice to get back. <laughs> I've had a nice few days away and now back home to my new little family. <laughs> So I arrived back at Nonny Tree and headed up to room 444, which is the room that I changed to just before I left. Love this room, really do. And I was back in bed B3, this one just here. I have definitely settled back in very well. Zach is in that one and Sinead used to be in that one, but she's now moved to a private accommodation. And it's such a lovely room. We've got a balcony as well where I can do my laundry and go and hang it up outside. So nice. You can see the guys down on the coffee bar down there. Lovely corner view. I am definitely the most settled in and unpacked here in my little berth. But yeah, I've really enjoyed staying here. Look at that sky up there. I think there's a good chance I might be getting wet. So because the weather wasn't very good, I decided to walk down and to get my hair cut. Thankfully, after I'd had my hair cut, the weather brightened up, so I decided to go for lunch. I have got pork with peppers and paprika and rice. And look at that view. Wonderful. My hostel is straight down that road and then I walk straight up here until I get to Biolab. So I do a lot of my editing and my teaching online as well because the music in the background is quite quiet. And this is Biolab here, right on the corner. Along this road is a real estate agency called IPS and they're the ones that have been recommended to me to find somewhere to rent. So I headed in and gave across all my details and told them what it was that I was looking for. And before I knew it, I was in a tuk-tuk off to my first viewing. I was taken to this brand new apartment complex. A great open plan reception. It also had a swimming pool and a sauna. So this is the first flat and it has a sink and a stove extractor fan, iron, seating area, there will be seat covers there, television, air conditioning and a balcony, not much of a view really. There will be a washing machine put here. And in here, there is a bedroom, wardrobe, another air conditioning unit, and a fan over the bed as well. And there's actually 
one, two, three windows in here. We then went up to the third floor and viewed another one bedroom apartment for the same price. So this apartment is the same price as the last one. That's the bathroom. It's very much more open plan here and it has a cooker overhead extractor fan sink there will be a fridge freezer here the balcony will have a washing machine on it and the views are gorgeous and then in here there is a nice looking sofa and the bedroom again with three windows and a wardrobe and its own air conditioning. I like this one very much and it is exactly the same price as the one on the first floor but I think this one's nicer. So I've now come upstairs again to the fourth floor and this is a two bedroom I'm going to walk around. So you walk in the front door, there's a bathroom in front of you which is actually connected to this bedroom which has a wardrobe, its own air conditioning and a large balcony there. Come through to the living area which has the washing machine, a kitchen area, another balcony, sofa, television, another air conditioning and then through to the second bedroom which has its own bathroom. Hello. Dressing table, wardrobe, and this one just has a very small balcony there. This one would be great for two people sharing, definitely. We then drove across town to a different apartment building and I really liked this one. I will put the details, hello. This is the bathroom which actually I really like that and then we have got the bedroom stroke living room stroke office large area to hang your clothes some windows and it's quite protected with um, the trees as well and here is the kitchen so you've got a fridge freezer two gas ring hob sink and next door is a b and b so there's not much of a view but yeah i quite like this and it's much closer here to where i've been staying as well yeah it's got a nice feel about it I hope you enjoyed the room tours, but I'm not going to make any decisions right now because I have got a flight to Malaysia coming up because I've got to leave the country because my visa runs out. So when I return after my short trip away, we will make some decisions. But from here, I'm going to head down to Phnom Penh. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.